A pivot table is a great way to summarize data in Excel. Here we have a table with sales records. We can see where things were sold, what we sold, and how much, and how much money we got on each sale. And we can scroll down and see row after row of data. Now I could create formulas to summarize things, but with a pivot table it will just be a few clicks to get totals. In Excel 2013, it's easier than ever to create a pivot table because there's a new tool to help you with some suggested arrangements for your data. So I'm going to click any cell in this table and on the insert tab at the left there's a tables group and here's the new tool which is recommended pivot tables. So I'll click that, it opens up a new window and based on the data that I've got here it's suggesting some layouts. So the first one is showing the cities and then taking the total price and giving me the total sales in each city. So that might be useful if I'm interested in where things are selling. If we want to know what's selling, here's a layout that has the different product categories and then for each region how much we sold. And below that we can see those product categories again and just the total price instead of broken out by region. You can scroll down, there are lots more options. If I go down further, we're looking at the product categories and then the product names below that. And this time it's the quantity rather than the price. So we'll select that one. I'll click OK. And it puts a new sheet in the workbook. And here's the layout that I selected. Now it's got the quantity. I'm also going to add the total price. Over here I can see all the fields from that data sheet. So I'll click on total price and that puts another column here where the values are. This one went in as sum of total price. This one is count of quantity. And if I go back and look at my data, I can see that going down the quantity column there's one item here that's text rather than a number. So Excel sees this not as a number column, but as either text or mixed numbers and text. So it defaults to count. But we can change that. I'll just right click on one of those numbers, summarize values by, and instead of count, I'll click on sum. So now we can see the total quantity and the total price for each product category and product. So it's a quick way to get started. You can change the layout after you've selected one of the sample layouts, but you're up and running very quickly. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.